6 raised to power minus z is equal to 2 raised to power s, which is equal to 3 raised to power y. What is the value of 1 divided by s plus 1 divided by y plus 1 divided by z? Hi everyone, welcome to my class. In this class, we want to find the value of 1 divided by s plus 1 divided by y plus 1 divided by z from this given nice equation. 6 raised to power minus z is equal to 2 raised to power x is equal to 3 raised to power y. But before we proceed, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Here are the options. Let's see if you are going to get the correct answer. A is equal to 1, B is equal to 0, C is equal to minus 1 over 2, and D is equal to 3 over 2. What do you think is the right answer? Let's solve and see. Solution. We have the given equation, 6 raised to the power minus z is equal to 2 raised to the power s is equal to 2 raised to the power y. Now, we want to solve this now using what we call base equalization techniques. Note that if you have a raised to power q is equal to a raised to power p, this implies that q is equal to p. Now, from this question, two raised to power two is less than three. Now, and this is six, which is greater than two and three. Now, let's start with this. Let the all of this equation equal to q. That is. 6 raised to the power minus z is equal to 2 raised to the power s is equal to 3 raised to the power y, which is equal to q. And in this case, 2 raised to the power 2, and in this case, 2 is less than 3. Now, 2 raised to the power s is equal to what? q, since 2 less than 3. Now, 2 is equal to q raised to the power 1 over s. Let's call this equation 1. Also, the next is 3. 3 raised to the power y is equal to q. Then, 3 is equal to q raised to the power 1 over y. Let's call this 2. Now we are left with this. C raised to the power minus z is equal to q. Then c is equal to q raised to the power 1 over minus z, which is equal to 1 minus 1 over z. That is, q is equal to minus 1 over z. Now you see the same thing. Now from this now we can see that both six, two, and three have become free for combination. So they are now free. Now let's see if you have two multiplied by three, the same thing as q raised to the power one over s plus one over why? Because if you have a raised to power 1 over a and you multiply by a raised to power 1 over m, this is equal to a raised to power 1 over n plus 1 over m. And remember that 6 raised to the power minus z is equal to 2 raised to the power s, which is equal to 3 raised to the power y. Then 6 is now equal to 2 multiplied by 3. But 6 is equal to 
t raised to the power minus 1 over z. Now we have minus 1 over z is equal to t raised to the power minus 1 over z is equal to t raised to the power 1 over s plus 1 over y. Now we have t raised to the power 1 over s plus 1 over y is equal to t raised to the power minus 1 over z. They have the same base. We are left with 1 over s plus 1 over y is equal to minus 1 over z. Let's equate everything z to 0. Let's bring this to the, let's bring minus 1 over z to this side. We have 1 over s plus 1 over y plus 1 over z is equal to 0. And we know that what we are asked to find is this. Therefore, our answer is 0. Now we have 1 over s plus 1 over y plus 1 over z is equal to 0. That is our final answer. If you have that is our final answer. Let's take the option. The correct options, let's see, A is equal to 1, B is equal to 0, C is equal to minus 1 over 2, and D is equal to 3 over 2. Then the correct option is 0. So which is the right answer? If you have enjoyed the class, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.